Let's get down, let's get down to business Give you one more night, one more night to get this We've had a million, million nights just like this So let's get down, let's get down to business Let's get down, let's get down to business Give you one more night, one more night to get this We've had a million, million nights just like this Let's get down, let's get down to business Hello and welcome to another tutorial. On this video I'm going to show you how to connect a domain or a subdomain to the website that you have created on Cheetah. First you, ne you need to know that you need to buy every single domain so you can have a personalized URL for your website. As you can see on my screen I have this website which is Marketing Design GA and I have another, another website with a domain connected. You can see that domains are connected when you can see a dot at the end of the, of the URL and these pages does not have any domain because you don't see any point and basically you connect manually the domains here so you basically know which pages have uh, domains connected so you can go into Namecheap, you can go to GoDaddy, you can go any platforms to buy the domain you can also buy the domain here by going into your dashboard you can go to home then you can go to um, on the bottom of the page you can see buy domain so you can type the domain and buy it from here but we, we're gonna pretend that if you have a domain or an external domain that is um, you bought it on a different platform than Builder you need to connect the name servers to our platform that way you will connect the domain to our servers even though I have my domain connected here it doesn't mean that it will work right away because even though they are connected to Cheetah, it doesn't mean that they are already connected to our servers. So you need to change the name servers of these domains if you bought it on another platform. If you bought these domains here by using this option, you will not require to do the following steps. You just need to go into Cheetah, go to the desired website that you want to connect the domain, click on the three dots, and just click on connect domain. After clicking here, um, you will see that you need to first connect the domain and servers. You can see uh, basically an explanation here. You can also click here to have access to the name servers that you need to add if the domain is, is external. So just type here the domain that you have bought and just click on save and it will automatically connect that domain here to your website. So if in order to change the name servers, you just need to go to, let's go to Freenom, which is a platform that provides free domains just uh, with um, basically with um, an, an extension that, that nobody use so let's say in type marketing and click on check availability and you can see that these domains are not available but if you if you type a different domain let's change it to marketing view draw and type check availability and you will see this domain is available and it's free but you can see that extension is not.com is the um, these are the extension for the domain but if you want to buy the .com you have the available price which is uh, 7 euros so you can select it and buy it but you can also select the above domain which is just free so after you buy, you buy the domain and follow all the steps I'm just gonna sign into my account so you can see what you need to do on this platform or any other platform to change the name servers so I'm just gonna type my my email And then I'm going to go to services and go to my domains. So you can see the domains that I have on this platform. Um, all of these domains are free. Okay, so you can go to manage domain and go to manage free, freedom or freedom DNS. Here you can see that I have, in order to use freedom DNS, please select the default name servers. But I want I don't I don't want to do that. I want to use the an a custom name server because because I'm not gonna use Freenom DNS. So I'm gonna use external DNS. So I need to go to name servers, and here I'm gonna type the name servers according to the platform or the tool that I'm gonna use. So if I go back to Cheetah and I pretend that I'm gonna connect the domain, I can click here, and I can see the information that I need. But this first information just for Pixel Perfect. This is an old builder. So we need to scroll down and find Cheetah. 
So here is the name servers I need to use. Sometimes um, on all platforms like GoDaddy, you need to use the IP address, and it's shown right here. Okay, so you need to type the IP address if it is required. There are many platforms that provide domains, and some platforms uh, just ask, like Freenum, you just ask the name server, but sometimes they ask for the IP address. Just click on chain name servers and just wait for the propagation. So it can take uh, maybe 24 or 48 hours to propagate. After that, just wait for propagation and just connect the domain here. And you will be able to, um, let's say, create create uh, email, custom emails. You can uh, connect subdomains here also with that domain. So let's say you want to connect a subdomain with the domain you have connected to the platform that you bought on Freenum, you bought on GoDaddy, or you bought it on Builderall. It's basically the same steps. You don't need to create the, the records on the other platform. Since you you have connected the domain via name servers, these records are automatically um, added to the system. It will automatically be connected to the to the servers. That way, the subdomain will will start working. So let's say that my, my phone number one, I want to connect a subdomain. So I have my domain connected here, which is marketing design. So I'm just gonna click on the three dots and click on connect domain. To connect a subdomain, it's basically the same steps. We just need to type here the subdomain. So I'm just gonna type marketing dot marketing design dot ga. So I'm just gonna click on save. You don't need to add any www. You don't need to add any HTTPS. Just type here the subdomain. Or if you want to connect a domain, you have to type type it as naked domain. Naked domain is just like this. They don't have any www. They don't have any HTTPS just naked domains how this is shown on here you can see just type the domain or type the subdomain like this and just click on save click on save again and just wait for the system to take up my changes to take up the subdomain that we are connecting just like this if you have any problems finding to change the name servers on the platform you're using to to where you buy your domain just make sure to, con to, co to contact support on that platform so they will basically know where to add this information there. You can just let them know that you want to connect and uh, replace or use a different name servers and they will be glad to help you. They will be glad to change these name servers to your domain. So you can see that it's still loading. So just wait. So how's, as you can see here, the subdomain was connected to my, to my uh, website if I click on the name of the website I will be redirected to the subdomain that I have connected just make sure to wait at least 24 hours for the SSL to, to process otherwise if you go directly into the website you will see an issue with the SSL a security problem or uh, telling you that it's somewhat that website is telling you personal information or privacy information so just make sure to wait at least 24 hours after you connect the domain or connect the subdomain basically